Well, hello and welcome to something a bit different. So I thought it would be possibly a good idea to do sort of an updated OBS beginners video that I did a long time ago and um, just generally give my sort of advanced beginner, uh, dare I say, intermediate level experience. So let's just open the settings tab and make it a bit bigger. Right, so the general tab, there's quite a bit here that uh, doesn't really apply to me. Some of it is uh, self-explanatory. Language English, check for updates, output. I don't stream currently, I haven't tried it, though I may do in the future. And that's pretty much it, there's not much to say about this page. Stream, I mentioned that I don't stream currently, so if you're looking for a streaming beginner's guide, this is not the video for you. Output. So skip the streaming. Replay buffer. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Recording. It's currently greyed out because we are actually using this to record, but uh, it doesn't matter. So there's the path. In my case, it's going to my, uh, if you like, storage drive. It's not my OS drive. Uh, recording format, MP4, is absolutely fine. I believe MKV or FLV is better, but I should imagine that will have larger file sizes. And I may look into that in, in the future. Audio track, I've got two here checked. If you're not doing commentary, then you only need the one. If you're doing commentary, I recommend having at least two. And the more devices you have plugged in, then the more of these boxes you will need to have checked. The encoder. Uh, I've got an NVIDIA graphics card, so I'm using this feature here. NVENC H.264. That's my rescale output. That's my resolution. Uh, I'm not sure about this, so I've left it blank. Rate control. Right, again, I'm no expert, but I believe VBR or variable bitrate is what, for example, something like Shadowplay uses. And if I'm not mistaken, I find that that can result in uh, the audio becoming out of sync with the video. So for that reason, I wouldn't recommend VBR. Either use CBR, CQP or lossless. Lossless is going to look very nice. It's going to have a huge file size. Um, the most recent Quake 2 video I did had a... Uh, part of it was lossless, part of it wasn't. Uh, CBR stands for constant bitrate. And in terms of settings for that, we'll get into that a bit later when I show some footage. Uh, in fact, it's my intention at the end of this video to just show some basic footage of a game that's simple like Quake or Doom. And I'm going to adjust the settings. We can compare the uh, effects of those settings. But CBR, from memory, I don't use it now, but uh, you shouldn't get any audio or video sync problems with it. And a healthy bitrate for that would be, I think, 50,000. I seem to recall that I did have to re-upload a Quake video once that I just couldn't get to record and in the end the only th way I could do it was to lower the CBR setting from 50,000 to 35,000 and I could see a difference but it was okay. CQP, oh uh, now what does this stand for? Is it constant quantization parameter I think? This I believe is better than CBR and I've been using it for a while now. Um, the lower the number the better, so zero is the best. Uh, I recently started doing a stalker mod called the Anomaly mod playthrough and part one and part two were the same recording so it's the same quality pretty much. Part one which has received a worldwide block so you can't view it now anyway. That, um, was using CQP 18, which on reflection was was uh, too low a setting. It should have been like lower teens, if not lower than that. Um, episode 2 looks a bit better. 
uh, but that's because I increased the bit rate when I rendered. That's the only reason why it looks better. But even that isn't without noticeable compression. Lossless, that is, as far as I'm aware, the best that this software can offer. Uh, again, it's going to have very, very large file sizes. Profile, I'm not sure if going from main to high really makes that much difference. But mine's on high. Level, 5.1. I believe, again, there's not a huge difference between sort of the lower 4s and 5.1. When you drop down, though, you will see a difference. So try and go as high as you can. Two-pass encoding is going to always be better. GPU number here, uh, I'm assuming that relates to the number of GPUs being used. So in my case, it's only one. So uh, this is an assumption. I don't know that this is what it actually relates to. B frames, I've consistently seen this to be two on a number of videos. So I, <laughs> I leave it at two. I don't know why or what it does. Audio, you want to have the bitrate as high as your system can manage. And I should think most people can do at least around, um, I don't know, 128 or 192, but go as high as you can. Uh, so the audio sample rate, again, higher the better, but 44.1 is okay. Channels, I am using stereo. Uh, where it says desktop audio device, that's my uh, speakers. I've just left it at default because uh, that works fine. Microphone is obvious. That's what uh, I'm talking into right now. That's my uh, Audio-Technica ATR 2100. So naturally I select the appropriate microphone. I have no additional um, microphones, so they're disabled. Audio meter decay rate, I guess that just affects how fast this, uh, these bars drop, I'm assuming. Um, but as you can see, this is the microphone bar here. So as I'm talking, you will uh, see the, uh, the colors sort of come to life. I don't use these settings here, so uh, I don't bother with that. Video. So my FPS values are 60. Uh, my resolution is as is, 24, uh, 2560 by 1440. Downscale filter, uh, this is the highest one. Not sure how you're supposed to pronounce it, Lanx, Soz or something. But that's 32 samples, that's the best I believe. The one below it I think is 16. And I should imagine most people can handle the one below this or this. Hotkeys, I don't use them really. Nope, I don't. <laughs> Advanced, there's very little to say here. Um, I'm even more um, in the dark about this, but um, not sure if these are optimal. Um, I know very little about this, and some of it relates to streaming, which I don't do, as you know. So, not much to say there. Okay, so let's click OK on that. Um, I've seen some videos where it recommends that you have lots of scenes set up, but I, for some reason, I don't, uh, I haven't sort of had the need to do that yet. I've just got uh, sources as game capture, display capture, and I nearly always use game capture. Um, I can't really advise much on these because I probably set them up once when I watched a video, but you probably will find and fairly self-explanatory. Um, properties. Yeah, capture any full screen application. Don't use Crossfire or SLI. So I've got no experience with that. If you want to capture the cursor, you can click this or check that. See here I've got the desktop audio, which is my speakers, uh, or in this case it's my headphones that I'm wearing. Uh, I think I forget which one's which. Desktop Audio 2, I think that might be my headphones, and then desktop might be my speakers, but uh, I don't use my speakers on their own now. I use the headphones to record, since it cuts out so much of the background noise that emits from the speakers, so that's 
wonderful. And I think that's about it. So hopefully there's a slight improvement on the last video for getting started, understanding a few things. Uh, if you've got any questions, then far away, I'll do my best to answer them, but I'm no OBS expert. Uh, so I think what I'll do now is I'll just uh, cut the recording and then go and record some uh, Wake or Doom footage, something simple that's not going to take long to render. And then we can take a look at different uh, settings, different recording formats and compare quality and that way you can get an idea and it will hopefully give you kind of a base number to begin if this is all new to you and you're not sure which um, value to set when recording. Thank <laughs> you. 